Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. In this sequence, we will be adjusting the pre-made ceramic metal ponic. There are several considerations in grinding ceramics. It is a glass-like material and therefore must be handled with a degree of caution. Also, cleanliness is of the utmost importance, for a small speck on the surface will appear highly magnified after the restoration has been glazed. Prior to starting our grinding sequence, we must analyze a case. The lateral on the opposite side of the arch, in your case, is wider mesially distally, and therefore we cannot copy its exact shape. We'll have to develop a contour that will be harmonious with the adjacent teeth and the balance of the dentition. Let's review the basic anatomy of the lateral incisor using this large model. Note that as the tooth emerges from the soft tissue, there is a concavity on the mesial and distal that allows room interproximally for the soft tissue. We will duplicate this contour in the ponic. The shape and finish of the incisal edge is also very important. The tooth is silhouetted against the back black background of the oral cavity. Here we have a pronounced curve on the distal and a sharp almost right angle on the mesial. The incisal edge is relatively smooth. We see that the pre-made ponic is wide mesially distally and must be narrowed to fit the edentulous space. Also, it is long cervically incisally. After making these corrections, develop the mesial and distal concavities and the surface contours using the stones in the porcelain polishing kit. In the custom porcelain polishing kit, there are these two large green stones for gross reduction of the ceramic veneer. The series of small white stones consists of one biscuit shape and two pointed stones. We use these for the subtle details and the incisal edge and surface contouring. There are also a series of rubber wheels. Three large wheels marked standard which is the coarsest grit, ultra the next fine, and ultra two the finest for final finish. Also a series of knife edge rubber wheels is included. Standard has no marking on the shank. The ultra has one heavy yellow band and the ultra two has two thin yellow bands. When grinding the incisal edge be sure to grind from the mesial to the distal aspect. If you grind the pontic from the buccal to the lingual, there is a tendency for the glass-like ceramic material to chip. We will now contour the pontic to its rough shape. We rough ground the pontic to the general shape, size, and contour in harmony with the adjacent teeth. And now we are ready to do our final grinding and polishing. We have also contoured the metal surface as it approximates the soft tissue. It is extremely important that this surface be highly polished and follow the contour of the edentulous ridge so that plaque will not accumulate and the undersurface of the ponic will remain in a healthy, good condition. The polishing sequence is started with a standard grit rubber wheel, progressing to the final finish with the Ultra 2 wheel. We have developed some surface undulations to complement the adjacent teeth. The incisal edge has been contoured and the ponic well adapted to the soft tissue. The next step will be to prepare the ponic for stain application. The surface of the porcelain must be absolutely clean prior to the application of the stain. Clean the ponic for a full five minutes in distilled water 
in an ultrasonic cleaner. After it has been cleaned, do not handle a ceramic surface with the fingers. Be sure to refer to the stone model you received as this will aid you in developing the overall contour during the grinding procedure. Remember the porcelain material is essentially glass and must be handled with a degree of caution. Also to try to maintain cleanliness so that the foreign material is not incorporated into the surface of the porcelain. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.